Well, we have been working with DApps on 5% for a long time. We're lucky enough to have it in the United States for several years now. And we just recently got the DApps on 7.5%. Uh, I think Dapson has a great role in treatment of acne, especially in adult females. We have pretty good data that actually Dapson does, for, does perform much better in uh, female patients than the male for one reason or another, which we exactly don't know why. However, the data shows that uh, it works much better in female patients. So I'd like to use uh, actually more uh, in my f adult female patients who have sensitive skin. So it is a quite a challenge uh, treating uh, acne patients with skin of color from two perspectives. Uh, most of them do have quite sensitive skin and it makes it difficult for us to use the topical retinoids. Also, most of those patients do suffer from post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So about one third of my patient population is African-American. When they come to me, they say, doc, can you take care of the blemishes rather than the pimples? So the blemishes are much disturbing and bothersome to those patients than actually the uh, actual acne lesions. Now, uh, we try to use topical retinoids, of course, as a main treatment of acne, uh, but then they are very sensitive uh, and they uh, get easily irritated, and then that will cause actually more post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Uh, therefore, using agents such as uh, Biacna or uh, topical Dapson or uh, even um, azelaic acid may help to kill two birds uh, with one stone in the sense that you're not only treating uh, acne but also take care of the PIH with less irritation. Well, more than 20 years ago when I was a resident, uh, most of my professors uh, used spot treatment. Uh, however, now we know that actually there is subclinical uh, inflammation and uh, inflammation is actually in the patients, in the skin of the acne patients, even before the actual lesions come to surface. So definitely in my mind, should not be spot treatment, it should be the treatment of the whole face. Well, acne being a chronic uh, problem, it requires chronic treatment, and that in itself makes it difficult for the patient, especially the teenager population where adherence or compliance is very low. So from the get-go, I try actually to get these patients sort of like or be tolerant to the treatment so that they can continue use it. So easy regimens and tolerable treatments or at least a moisturizer and cleanser program that's gonna help them to make their uh, treatment regimen more tolerable is very helpful. Mm -hmm.